So here is the symbolic representation of a marine alternator. It's a 6600 volt, 8500 kVA marine alternator. Of course, it's a three phase alternator. So apart from checking the diesel engine parameters, we also have to pay attention on the electrical part either. So what are the parameters you check? In this video, we'll just walk through the basic parameters which we have to check when taking over a watch. They are the kilowatt load as mentioned here, KVAR, the reactive load and the amperes. The marine alternator, most of the cases are rated for 440 ohms and we can able to read only the kilowatt load. The KVAR is not mentioned or we are not bothered since we don't have any high powered propulsive loads. In this ship we had an electrical propulsion so we got to have this kilowatt and KVAR as the synchronous motor was used for electrical propulsion. And amperes depending on the load it will vary. Apart from that we have to monitor the drive end bearing temperature that is the flywheel side temperature and the non drive end bearing temperature. So most of the cases we can't directly measure the temperature of the bearing shell material. So in this case it was measured the oil which was coming out of the bearing. So thus it indirectly, indirectly represents the bearing temperature and this alternator was cooled by air with an internal circulation and this air in turn was cooled by the LT water circuit. Thus the air temperature here it is jumbled up so the inlet of air temperature is 40.9 degrees Celsius and the outlet is 43 degrees Celsius and these have limits above these limits it will give an alarm and if it crosses that limit either the generator will trip or the alternator will trip. Apart from that, since the engine is being driven by the dual fuel diesel engine or to be specific it's a tri-fuel diesel engine that is it can run either in heavy oil or diesel oil or in gas. So there will be an indication on which mode the engine runs or in backup. A backup is something where the pilot injector will not fire and only the main injector will fire and there are indications for various faults with respect to the AVR excitation, AVR current limit and cooling water leak alarm. Since we have air cooled alternators and this air in turn is cooled by the cooling water, if that cooling water leaks there is a leakage detector water level monitor and that will give an alarm. And these are the basic parameters and one important thing what you have to check is the UVW or RYB winding temperatures. There are thermometers embedded on the cables or in fact the uh, respective phases UVW as shown here and the phase respective temperatures have to be checked and compared with each other since if something goes wrong or in a particular phase the temperature would shoot up and show it clearly here. So you got to monitor that either. So uh, these are the basic stuffs which we will monitor. Of course on the main switchboard we will monitor the frequency, voltage and the load percentage etc. So these we should never forget when we take over a watch and handing over the watch. And along with this what we have to check is the drive in and non drive in lube oil pressure. You will be mostly having a filter for it and uh, a differential pressure drop switch and there will be a non-flow alarm where when the lube oil stops to flow to the drive end or non-drive end bearing it will give an alarm so that we have to take immediate action. So thank you for watching this video. For more videos subscribe to my channel.